We have a very classy episode of the Salt Gun today with a very classy gun. Whether it was the German police or 007, some of you already recognize this gun and boy has it gotten around. Welcome to This Old Gun. I'm Russell from Cape Gunworks. Today we are going to be looking at a Walther PPK-S. Now this is a later variant of the Walther PPK and the Walther PP, which was the first of Walther's um, models of this firearm. Production or design began in 1929 and um, production and adoption by German armies first began in 1935 with the uh, German police uh, criminal investigative services first using the Walther PPs. They were first adopted in 32 ACP and later 380 ACP. And then we would see Walther's in 22 and even 9 by 18 Ultra. But most of you will recognize this gun as being popular and possessed by 007 himself, James Bond. Um, I believe that originally James Bond was supposed to have an old Beretta 25, but I think it was Dr. No that um, I think it was in 1958 that movie came out, correct me if I'm wrong, that they ended up switching him out to a Walther PPK. The PPK in Walther PPK stands for Polizei Pistola Criminal, which was the Criminal Investigative Services designation of this pistol, as the German police would be one of the first to actually adopt this pistol. And originally it started out with the Walther PPs and then the PPKs, which the German army used all the way up through World War II and possibly beyond that, I'm not sure. And then came the Gun Control Act of 1968, which regulated a lot of things, including barrel lengths and different frame sizes and lengths of specifically pistols. And unfortunately, the PPK failed this test. And so we get the PPK-S, a little bit bigger gun, but a gun that we were able to import into the United States. This gun has the Walther Arms United States import marking on it, but there are other Walthers out there that have been imported by companies such as Smith & Wesson. Now, this gun is really interesting to shoot. It's not too snappy, but the weight of it definitely helps. I'm gonna take you guys out into the range and I'm gonna show you guys how this gun shoots. Let's go. Got to be careful that this gun doesn't bite your uh, doesn't bite your hand here. You got a really really sharp uh, tang here. And when it comes back, it can really really bite you. These guns do it. The old mil spec 1911s do it. So just keep that in mind if you're to shoot one of these guns. But they're still a lot of fun to shoot. A lot of history behind it. These guns started development around 1929, and they're still making them today. And they've gotten around from the German police to different war efforts to 007 in the movies. This is the gun, guys. Now this gun has had many different variants produced of it under many different importers. And it's still produced today under the Walther name. It has been and was considered one of the most successful double action pistols ever made. Um, used by both the military and, more commonly, the commercial markets as of late. This gun was used by a couple of gangsters in the Dirty 30s, I believe, because back around the earlier 30s, the idea was that smaller was better, not necessarily for 45 caliber 1911s and such. The gangsters really started out with smaller pistols and then kind of worked their way up to 1911s. 45 ACPs, 38 Supers, things like that. These guns have certainly kept their popularity up from the 20th century right on up until now. And we sell quite a few of the PPKSs and sometimes the PPKs at Cape Gunworks and every so often we'll even get some old ones in. So come on down to Cape Gunworks guys and check out these really nice Walther PPKs and PPKSs. I'd love to show you some. I'd love to put one in your hand and possibly let you take one home. I'm Russell from Cape Gunworks. I'll see you around. <laughs>